Christian, have you had a chance to think back to when it all began at Dortmund over the last few days? Uh, yeah, I mean, I always think back to those moments. Uh, you know, when I came here, just a little kid, <laughs> you know, not knowing what could possibly happen or what really this uh, club was about. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool to think back of, you know, how far I've come. Was there something perhaps off the pitch that went differently to what you expected in a city of Dortmund with a new culture, a new language, etc.? Uh, yeah, I, the only thing I could think of was, was going to school at a full-on German school where it was very difficult right at the beginning. That didn't exactly go as I had hoped, so that was tough. But, I mean, you know, I got through it, I pushed through it because I knew that I had a bigger goal than that, so, you know, to get past that part, <laughs> and then I was able to, you know, do well in, in the football side of things. Did you get any special dispensation at school, or were you treated just like anybody else? You know, they... they uh, took away, you know, maybe a few classes that were pretty much impossible for me after the first couple of days because I had to tell them I don't, I don't understand anything. But uh, honestly, no, at the beginning they didn't. But, you know, when I started to, when I started to tell them, look, I, I, need, I need some help, they, they, were, they were understanding and they, they helped me out a little bit. What was your favorite subject? <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe like art or something. <laughs> something that didn't, you know, involve that much German. Did you do English as well? Yeah, okay, yeah. I had an English class, but that wasn't very fun. <laughs> I was just, I don't know. I, like the teacher would ask me for help and, and everything, and I would just kind of sit there. And I don't even think I got a perfect grade because I, I didn't participate enough in class or something because I just, I don't know. But that's how it goes. Yeah, it was too easy for you. Yeah. I think you told me last year, the year before, that you would recommend any player uh, who's in a similar position to you to make the same step. Do you still feel the same way about that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it just made me so much stronger, not only as a player, but as a person too. I learned so much, you know, people here just, uh, you know, it, it just they, nothing was easy to come over in Europe and, and to, to make this step. I'm really happy that I did it. Do you feel you were a pioneer in a sense, opening the door for the likes of Tyler and Weston? <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I guess you could say that, you know, maybe I was one of the first ones, but I'm glad these guys are, are, are doing similar things and they, they can see, you know, you know, I was able to come here and I was able to make it and, you know, for them to come and, you know, do the same thing, I'm really happy to see them and, you know, we have a great, you know, relationship so that we can uh, help each other out. Did they ask you for advice or your opinion before they made that decision? Yeah, we've talked about it, you know, it's not a... Yeah, they're not asking me all the time because they need to experience things themselves. But whenever I tell them all the time, whenever they need anything, that I'm here and, you know, they're the same for me. What did Dortmund do to really help you as a player when you look back over those uh, few years you've been here? Yeah, I would say they challenged me. They, uh, you know, they brought me right into, uh, you know, a, re a really great team and put me in a U17 team. I had great coaches throughout the way as well. And then, you know, they, I think they brought me up to, you know, with the pro team at the perfect time. They gave me a few trainings here and there, gave me a little test. And I think just, just the way they brought me up and, you know, were able to bring me this far, I think that's what I would say that, you know, was the best thing. And they've just always given me the opportunity. You've had a lot of different coaches, uh, but Lucien Favre seems to be special. There's a lot of talk about his attention to detail. Is that the impression that you're getting from him as well? Yeah, um, I mean, if everyone says it, you know, it's, but uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's given us a lot. He's given us a lot of, you know, little input here and there on, on the smallest things, like you said, he really does. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can see it in our team, of, you know, how we played this year, how we defend and, and, and you know, how we attack. So it's, uh, it's been a really, really fun year. Can you give me a sort of um, example of what he would say to you, you know, improve this, you can move that or... The little things that he says. Yeah, um, if, just, you know, as an example, maybe a, when I'm on the wing and you know maybe a ball from the outside back gets played into a center midfield, that I'm already you know on a movement coming inside before he receives it, just so that this guy can know that he can play at one time to me on the inside. Something simple like that is just a just a quick movement like that. What's been the reaction from uh, folks back home, from friends, from sort of the wider? Um, circle of, of people around you now that this move to Chelsea has been made official. You're getting lots of uh, messages, lots of phone calls. The normal, you know, all my, you know, really close friends and, and family all reach out to me and tell me, you know, how happy they are for me and, and that they're proud and, you know, without them I wouldn't be here. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool to have the support that I do, especially back home in the U.S. as well.
Do you think this might be a daunting step for you or do you feel you're 100% ready, this is the right time, this is the right club for me? I'm, I'm feeling, I'm really happy with my decision uh, at the moment. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't have any regrets, I'm, I'm really excited. But uh, yeah, the best thing is I get to finish out a strong season here. And uh, yeah, after that, then I, I can move on to this next step. Have you thought about uh, the position that you could play for at Chelsea, or so maybe the role in a wider sense as far as the dressing was concerned? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be the first time, obviously for me, you know, switching clubs like this. Uh, you know, I'd imagine when you first go in, you have to go in and, you know, you earn the respect of the guys. I'm sure they're all great guys off the field, just like, you know, this team is. And, uh, you got to go in and on the field you have to earn your, earn, your, earn your spot and you know every training or every game anytime I get the opportunity just like here I have to take it and I have to prove to them that you know I'm worthy of you know playing on the being on the field and, and, and playing with that team and uh, yeah once I get there then uh, I'll just be fighting every single day and I'll be ready for it. Mm -hmm. And have Chelsea or, or, or Maurizio Sarri given you an indi indication of where they want you to to play? Positionally. Yeah, I, I think I think they definitely see me, you know, as in one of the wider er, wider areas. But I think they also know that I can play kind of anywhere across the attack. So, you know, I'm ready for wherever wherever I need to be filled in. Really. Can you explain to me why Chelsea and Sarri's football are such a great fit for you? Yeah, I think I think just you know from watching the games that I have been able to catch this year, I, I just see a, a system and, and how their wingers play. Uh, it's just a really good attacking, uh, you know, flowing system, and it's just football that I like to watch. I think they like to play out of the back. They're not they're not afraid to play anywhere on the field, and they're also very free, you know, once they get up the field. So it's just something that I that I like to see. How is the situation with the US M&T shaping up for you? I think the team is is looking a lot better. Obviously, now we have a we have a good you know head coach in place, and uh, I'm excited to see you know, what he brings to the table. And obviously, I think we have a lot of talent coming up. I mean, we see it, you know, across the Bundesliga, you know, across different leagues in the world. And I think, uh, I think Americans should be excited. And, and I'm definitely thrilled to just to see, you know, what our next step is. There'll be even more pressure on you than before. Probably. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. I think, uh, I think we can put some more of the pressure on some of these other guys now. But, uh, you know, I'm going to, I understand my role now in the national team. You know, I have to, I have to, you know, show these guys the way. I've been, I've been around for a while. I'm crazy to think I'm one of the more experienced guys in the national team. You know, when I was in the last few camps, but uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's what I have to be now. So, and what's your uh, relationship with uh, Craig like? Uh, I was able to meet him uh, once. I, I don't, I don't know him too well. I followed his his team a bit in the MLS, but uh, other than that, I don't. I don't know him super well, but I, you know, I've seen his system and I've seen that he likes to play, so I'm, I'm excited.